Chapter 2 Matrices Part 1 In this video, I'm going to discuss how to represent information from real situation in the form of matrices. Determine the order of matrix, hence identify certain elements in a matrix. Determine whether two matrices are equal. What is a matrix? A matrix is a set of numbers arranged in rows and columns to form a rectangular or a square array. A matrix is usually represented with capital letter and written in the bracket like this or like this. This is one of the examples of number right in matrix form. This one we call it as row and here we call it as column. So here we have two row, three column. Example 1. Represent the following information in the form of matrices. A. The table below shows the recommended daily calorie intake for females by category. Child 1700, teenager 2100, adult 2000, senior citizen 1800 kilo cow. Okay, so now we write it in metric form. This is a raw metric. What is Raw metric. A raw metric has only one row. You can see here one row only. Or you can write the metric in column metric like this. This one we call it as column metric. A column metric has only one column. So you can see one column only. B. The table below shows the medal collection of nation contingent for three events in the 29C games. Okay, so if we write it in metric, we can write it like this. Okay, just follow here. Three row, three column, right? So I start with 13, 5, and 1. Ten, two. Four at at nine. We can also write in this way. Okay, you from here you write in one row. So thirteen ten at thirteen ten at. Okay, silver is five two. At and for branch is one four nine. These are square metric. Why we call it as square metric? A square metric has the same number of row and column. So now you can see here we have how many rows? Okay, we have th three rows and 
three columns. C. In test one, sama score 76 marks for Bahasa Melayu, 82 marks for Mathematics and 72 marks for History. While Hamid score 80 marks for Bahasa Melayu, 88 marks for Mathematics and 70 marks for History. Uh, how we represent this information in metric? We can do like this. We can assume that the max for summit is 76 for PM, 82 max for mathematics, and 72 max for History. Whereas Hamid score at for PM, at at for math, and seventy mark for history. Or we can write it like this. Okay. So sum up here and Hamid is here. Actually, no need to write the name at the side of the matrix. I just want to let you know. Eh? Okay, the first row is for Samad's marks and second row is for Hamid's mark. Okay, so the first subject is BM followed by Mass and the last one is history. Okay, so sum up score 76 for BM, 82 for math, and 72 for history. And Hamid score 80 for BM, 88 marks for uh, math, and 70 marks for history. After we learn how to represent the information in metric form, now we are going to learn what is order of a metric. Order of a metric can be determined by counting the number of rows followed by the number of columns of the metric. For example, this is row 1, row 2, row 3, column 1, and column 2. So this metric has 3 rows and 2 columns. Therefore, it is a metric with order 3 by 2. Metric with m rows and n columns has the order m by n and it read as metric m by n okay so after we learn what is order of the metric now what is element of metric every number in the metric known as an element of the metric In general, the element at the first row and J column in metric A can represent as A, I, J. I is for row and J is for column. Okay, so if you look at here, this one is A11 means A, this number at the first row and first column. Okay, A12 means first row, second column. Okay, so example 2, it is given that 3 matrices P equals 3, negative 7, 9, Q equals 4, 5, and R equals this one, determine the order of each matrix.
Okay, we look at P. How many row? One row. How many columns? Three columns. Order of metric P is one by three. For the Q, we have two row, one column. The order of metric Q is 2 by 1. How about R? How many row here? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many columns? 1, 2, 3, 4. So the order of metric R is 4 by 4. B. The element at the first row and third column of the metric P. P1 street. So metric P, first row, third column. So first row, third column. First row, third column is here. So this is 9. So P1 street is 9. How about Q21? Second row, first column. So second row is here, first column. So the number is 5. R, third row, fourth column. So third row, fourth column, first here. So you can see. The number at the third row for column is 1. Example 3. Given that metric D equals negative 2, 5, 0, 4, 1, 9. Determine the order of the metric. Still remember what is the order of the metric for N? We have... How many row here? 1, 2, 3. And how many column? 2 column. So the order of the metric is 3 by 2. Now B, the element D11. First row, first column. So first row, first column. This is the number. Negative 2. How about D21? Row, first column. Second row is here. And first column. So it's 0. And D32. D32 is third row, second column. So third row, second column. So the element is 9. How to determine whether two matrices are equal? Let us look at example 4. Determine whether each of the following pairs of matrices is equal. Give your reason. We look at A equals 2, 11, 1, 3. B also equals 2, 11, 1, 3. So what is the conclusion? Metric A equals metric B because both the matrices have the same order and each corresponding element is equal. Now we look at B. C equals 3, 9 and D equals 3, 9. Here, for matrix C, we have one row. For matrix D, we have two row, one column. So, matrix C not equals matrix D because both matrices do not have the same order. The order of matrix C is 1 by 2.
Well, the order for matrix D is 2 by 1. Now we look at C. E equals at 3, negative 7, 0. F equals at negative 7, 3, 0. So matrix E also not equals to matrix F because the corresponding element are different. Okay, we look at here, 3, but corresponding element here is negative 7. So, not equal. And also here, negative 7. But for matrix F, the element is, the corresponding element is 3. Okay, now we look at D, G, the matrix is like this, hash is like this, both matrix have 3 row, 2 column, here also 3 row, 2 column. So now let us check the corresponding element, 0 0.5 equals to 1 over 2, okay, and negative 2, here also negative 2, 6, 6, 0 0.8, and 4 over 5, 4 divided by 5 equals 0 0.8, so same value, negative 1, corresponding element, negative 1, 12, corresponding element, 12, so matrix G equals H, because both the matrices have the same order and each corresponding element is equal. Example 5. It is given that matrix P equals this one and matrix Q equals this one. Determine the value of S, Y, Z if P equals Q. So means that matrix P equals matrix Q. So if matrix P equals matrix Q, all the corresponding elements are equal. Okay, so first we can see here S corresponding element is 5. So automatic S equals 5. Okay, so... 7, the corresponding element is y plus 1 because both at the first row, second column. Okay, so y plus 1 equals 7. So we solve it, move number 1 to the right hand side, y equals 7 minus 1, y equals 6. Okay, so now the final one here. 5 minus 3z. Corresponding element is 2z. So we, met, we write in equation 5 minus 3z equals 2z. So I move over 3z, negative will become positive. So y equals 2z plus 3z. 5z equals 5. z equals 5 over 5. z equals 1. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like and subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.